The Darrington Pharmacy has operated here in town for 106 years, but it won't see 107. It's closing permanently this Friday, one of many all across the country. This was the worst one we had. It's a prescription for trouble at Darrington Pharmacy. A note on the door telling customers the place is closing permanently. I have a prescription that's due like Friday. Mike DeLuca has been coming here for nearly 50 years. I'm very disappointed that we won't have it available for emergencies and that kind of thing. Customers will now have to travel all the way to Arlington, 60 miles round trip to pick up their prescriptions. It's just like unheard of to not have a pharmacy and the closest one be 30 miles away. It's just, it's gonna be very difficult for the, the community. Pharmacy tech Amanda Cochran says one reason for the closure is slim profit margins due to pharmacy benefit managers or PBMs. Those are middlemen who control which pharmacies operate within each insurance network, the terms of those deals. They even charge pharmacies to participate. It creates cases where drugstores are paying more for the medication than they're selling it for. You're not getting paid enough for medications that some of the big pharmacies have contracts that can afford those losses. Small town pharmacies can't. A University of Iowa study found over 1,200 independent pharmacies closed between 2003 and 2021. That's more than 16%. Across the country, at least 630 cities have no drugstore at all. If you really need me to, I can pick it up and give it to you Sunday morning. Darrington, the latest well, drugstore right desert, a friendly pharmacist offering to deliver Mike DeLuca's medications after this place closes its doors Friday. Many here will now have to depend on friends to pick up their prescriptions. Some may have to go without. Bye, Mike. Okay. Take care. Bye. It's going to be hard for the community, really hard. A bill was introduced in Olympia this year that would have given the insurance commissioner more authority and better regulated PBMs. However, that bill failed. Its sponsors, though, say it will be reintroduced in the next session. In Darrington, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.